lessons that you learned in your one that have really helped you now that you've already learned to. The ebbs and flows throughout the season, we learned a lot year one. If that was a, if that however year is, I don't know how long will last, but uh, going through uh, all the things that happened last year, uh, not, not only in football, but outside of football, uh, blowing a huge lead in a rivalry game, uh, coming back and winning three games, the uh, three FCS games to, to finish the season, going to Utah, going to BYU. There were so many lessons that we were able to, to learn and grow from last year, and I think the, the biggest lesson is just every single day you got to try to get better, and, and no matter how hard you work, no matter what you do, you can only you can only give yourself the best opportunity to be successful. Sex is not guaranteed. And so we're, we're, we're doing a good job of that, of focusing on the day, living in the moment, and, and hopefully being the best product uh, when, when the season comes around. The program had a lot of momentum for winning, winning the conference championship. I'm watching the NFL on Sundays, and there's three Thunderbirds in the NFL. Yeah. What kind of momentum has that had for you guys in recruiting and helping you continue the momentum for this one bill? Uh, we have a name now. It's easy to go into someone's home when they've watched, uh, when they've heard Southern Utah come across the, the board when they're watching Sunday football. And so, uh, it's easier. We, we already have an introduction before we ever step into a parent's home, and, and that's that's fun to have. It's a little easier to tell the stories about the, the type of people those guys are that are in the NFL, and now we're, we're able to talk, talk to them about what what uh, program they were in, how Kowser was able to graduate two years early and get his master's, and uh, so they already know about him, and now we're able to tell the whole story and, and how we, we could help them not only hopefully reach their potential in the NFL, but hopefully reach their potential after college. What do you like about your schedule? I mean, obviously, you guys are always open tough. <laughs> the thing I love about our is there's going to be no, no. Uh, there's going to be if we have a winning season, we go win the Big Sky. There's going to be no one's going to be able to say anything about our schedule. We're going to be able to prove that one of the best teams in the Big Sky, one of the best teams in the country. When you go play you and I, when you play Oregon, when you play Stephen F. Austin, when you play all four teams that made the playoffs in the Big Sky last year. We got an opportunity to put Southern Utah on the map. We've been wanting to do this for a long time, and I'm hoping that we don't have to go seven games in a row for, to finally get ranked. I think we have a tough enough schedule to win games early, to, to get our names uh, recognized around the country, and hopefully make a run at this thing and get a, get a good playoff seat.